Laceless football boots have come a long way over the last few years. And now some models even have the lockdown and responsiveness to compete with their traditional laced counterparts. But every laceless football boot on the market is gonna provide its own unique experience. And that's why it's so important that you find the right boot for you. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about five of the best laceless football boots that are currently available to purchase. We're gonna be going over all of their individual features as well as what makes them stand out. At the end of the video, if you are interested in purchasing any of these boots, I'll leave a link down below where you can find some of them at a discount. Now, let's get into the video. To start our list, we have the Predator Accuracy Plus from Adidas. Now, personally, from an aesthetic standpoint, this is one of my favorite boots on this entire list. It reminds me of some of the more classic Predator models that we saw in the early 2000s. Now, this model replaces last year's Predator Edge, which was not one of the most impressive boots that we've seen. The upper used in the Edge was pretty rigid and not supremely comfortable. However, the upper has been a big area of improvement with the Predator accuracy. Adidas have brought back their hybrid touch upper for this new Predator and it feels really soft and comfortable to the touch. But obviously the standout element of these Predators is gonna be the rubber elements studded throughout the upper. These small pieces of rubber throughout the inside of the upper aren't just a gimmick and they are gonna have a noticeable impact on your first touch, also when you're dribbling, passing, and shooting the ball. Compared to any other boot on the market, they're just gonna have so much more traction. And it's definitely a really unique selling point of the Predators. And specifically with the Laceless Predator Accuracy Plus, you're actually gonna get more of the rubber elements compared to if you just had the laced version. Continuing throughout the upper, these boots have a nice prime knit collar that's gonna provide a little bit of comfort and support around the ankle. And these boots also have some of the roomiest fitting upper of any boot in the Adidas lineup. So the toe box is pretty wide if you happen to have wide feet and I feel like they're pretty accommodating. However, the roomy fit of the Predator Accuracy Plus is a little bit of a double-edged sword when it comes to it being a laceless model. Although these boots are really comfortable and don't have too many pressure points around my feet, they don't have the most lockdown, especially compared to some other models on this list. But if you have wider feet and you're a big fan of the traditional design of this Predator and you like those rubber elements, I definitely think the Predator Accuracy Plus could be a great option for you. The Accuracy Plus retails for about $280, but at this point in the year, you can find it on discount in several colorways. Moving on to the next boot on our list, we have a model that may come as a surprise, and that's the Puma Future Ultimate. Now the reason this might be confusing is because the Puma Future Ultimate actually ships with laces. However, as Puma advertises on their website, these boots are not required to be worn with laces, making them one of the only hybrid laced slash laceless boots that you can find on the market right now. And I actually think in the case of the Future Ultimate, this design works pretty well. And that all comes down to the elasticated mesh upper that's used in the Fusion Fit design from Puma. We've seen this elasticated upper used in the Future Series for several years now, and I truly think it's what makes this model Puma's most comfortable boot. And beyond being comfortable, it's also very adaptable. Because it stretches so much, it's a boot that's gonna be good for both narrow and slightly wider foot shapes. It does taper a little bit towards the toe box, but unless you have really, really wide feet, these boots should be accommodating for you. And compared to any other brand on the market, I find Puma boots do tend to fit pretty snug, and that makes this boot really good for a laceless option. Even when you remove the laces, the lockdown is still pretty good, and you're not going to be finding a lot of extra pockets of space in the boot. There's some power tape that's adhered to the side of the boot that's going to give you a little bit of more grip on the ball as well. On top of that, you have a pretty aggressive outsole that's gonna work well on firm ground surfaces, and the studs should be rounded enough to be okay on artificial grass as well. The Future Ultimate is a pretty good value play as well as you can find this boot for usually around $220 or less depending on if it's on sale. Next up, we have what's probably the most well-known laceless football boot on the market, and that's the Adidas X Speed Portal Plus. Now this boot is a follow-up from the previous Adidas X Speed Flow, which was one of the most popular football boots of last year. And the reason it was so popular is because it was one of the first laceless football boots that honestly could be a viable option to a traditional laced model. So obviously the X Speed Portal had really big shoes to fill. And although the Speed Portal is a really great option, I think there's a few key missteps that Adidas made that make this not quite the best laceless boot that's available right now. First off, the Speed Skin Upper, although it does provide a lot of structure, it's a little bit less soft than the upper that we saw on the previous generation Speed Flow. Additionally, Adidas decided to remove the Carbotex outsole and replace it with a full plastic tooling. Now that was pretty upsetting to hear because I think the Carbotex outsole from the X Speed Flow made it one of the most snappy and aggressive outsoles that you could get on any football boot. But with those small negative aspects out of the way, there are still a lot of highlights with this football boot. 
First off, it has a really snug fit, it's pretty comfortable, and there's more than enough lockdown. There's a plush heel liner as well that helps to prevent any slipping, and there's some added grip throughout the upper for a little bit more traction on the ball. On top of that, you have a really aggressive stud pattern with these sharp bladed chevrons, and this is also one of the lightest laceless boots that you can get. But keep your eyes peeled over the next few months because it looks like Adidas is poised to release their next line in the X series with the X Crazy Fast. Right now, you can find the X Speed Portal Plus for around $220 USD depending on the colorway and look for sales in the immediate future. Next up, we got the only leather football boot on this list and that's the new Adidas Copa Pure Plus. Now this boot replaces the pretty disappointing Copa Sense from last year. So a lot of people were looking for improvements from this model. And in my opinion, I think Adidas really delivered on those improvements with the new Copa Pure. The full calf leather upper feels really soft and premium to the touch. And one thing I like is that there's not a lot of stitching on the Fusion Fit upper here, and that means there's not a lot of opportunities for the upper to tear apart at the seams. And this is good news as far as durability is concerned. Then the Fusion Skin upper blends seamlessly into the prime knit collar, which provides a lot of lockdown and it's really snug around the ankle. But what makes the Copa Pure Plus a great laceless football boot is that it's really slim, especially compared to other leather variations on the market. And the reason why this boot is so slim to begin with is because it uses the outsole from the previous speed boot generation from Adidas called the Nemesis. This outsole gives the new Copa Pure a pretty much narrow and streamlined silhouette, and it's gonna give it a lot more lockdown and more of a snug feeling. If you want a super wide fit, it might not be the best option for you, but if you like a really snug and spaceless feeling in your boot, almost like a second skin, this is a really great choice. I think it's the only leather football boot that I've ever tried on that has the light and aggressive feel that you get from a speed boot. And as I mentioned, that tight design really supports the fact that this is a laceless football boot because you get great lockdown and your heel's not gonna be slipping around when you're running. And since it's a leather football boot, you know that the fit is gradually gonna improve with time. The Copa Pure Plus retails for about $280, but depending on the colorway, you can often find it on sale. And finally, I've been saving the best for last. We have the New Balance Tequila V4 Pro. Now simply put, this is just the most comfortable laceless football boot I have ever tried on. I find that it even surpasses the comfort from the Adidas X Speed Flow from last year. The hypo knit upper used in the Tequila is just so soft, and to me, it almost has like a synthetic leather like feel to it. The main thing I love about these boots is that they provide great lockdown without feeling too tight in any one place. So there's no uncomfortable pressure points at any different area of your foot. The elasticated collar also adds a little bit of comfort and helps bolster the overall lockdown of the boots. Additionally, there's a soft heel liner included to help prevent any slipping. Then on top of the well-designed upper, the Tequila also has a really unique sole plate with both conical and bladed studs. This is going to provide a good combination of both help with rotational movement from the conical studs as well as more aggression from the bladed studs. And not only are these probably the best laceless boots that you can buy right now, but they're also one of the best value boots. As you can currently find the Tequila V4 Pro retailing for around $220 or less. And there you have it, that concludes my list of the five best laceless football boots of 2023. If you've gotten the chance to try on any of these boots, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.